Hello and welcome back to our DCOM tutorial series. Today we are going to be talking about the basics of adding new abilities into your game. Now there is already an ability uh, tutorial on the Pokemon Wiki. Um, I definitely recommend looking it over. Um, it may even be better than what this is going to end up turning out as. But I am just going to go over the process of adding an ability from the expansion uh, into vanilla Pokemon just just so that you can see it on screen if you don't want to use the text tutorial. So, um, we're going to begin, like most things we do, by defining a constant for the ability that we are creating. We go to include constants abilities.h and we just add a new constant and increase the abilities count by one to compensate. Very important. Uh, next, we're just going to get some of the basic stuff out of the way. We're going to go to source data text abilities.h. We are going to create a new text uh, variable for our data, a new pointer to a text. Uh, string and then we are going to add it the download description um, Oh, well, this is the name first first in G abilities names We're going to add the name for our ability just indexed by its uh, You're just going to copy and paste one of these entries change the index um, And then we're also going to do the same with the download description that we just created above um, So after you're done creating your text add it down here so that when you open the summary screen It doesn't crash trying to load uh, some random drunk data Okay, so now that we have those two things done, technically our ability is in the game. We can give it to a Pokemon and uh, they can hold the ability. It does nothing. So when you're, you know, getting into, when you, uh, you know, switch in or whatever, whenever your ability is being triggered, it's not going to do anything. Um, but uh, right now your ability is in the game if you have done this. Uh, and it will show up as your Pokemon, assuming you give it to a Pokemon. Um, but to actually give... Um, some effects to our ability. The majority of the logic is located inside ability battle effects. Now this is mostly for abilities that are uh, that are doing something, like especially like on Switch In. Um, sometimes there are ability uh, checks in all of the other functions in you know the crit function in the uh, accuracy check function accuracy calc cmd accuracy calc cmd crit calc um, the damage calc there's there's usually um, ability checks in all those functions because there's plenty of ways that abilities interact with the code so when you are creating your abilities um, we're going to be focusing on this function today but there's also all of the other stuff we have done in our battle videos that we watched um, all of the functions all the script commands that we edit there, the battle script commands, can be edited to do the same stuff, uh, well not the same stuff, but to do similar stuff affecting how the ability changes things uh, in the battle. Now in this case we're doing download. Download, when you switch in, it uh, increases a random stat. Uh, it's not, it's a little more complicated than that. It's a specific random stat, but uh, that's the, as simple as it gets. Uh, so we are going to, well that's not as simple as it gets. Some abilities are simpler, but it's the one I chose. So ability effects, battle effects is the main function that is called, that is going to determine, uh, that, are, that is going to, uh, you know, do our, our ability effects. So as we scroll through here, just, this is just basically set up, it's setting up uh, some of the, the, the Pokemon uh, information for the different Pokemon that are in the scene. Um, this checks... Uh, make sure it's not a safari battle now right here this is our main switch case id we are going to ability effect on switch in so this one is when something has been switched in uh, we are going to then do another switch statement another switch case on the last used ability um, so this is going to for any ability that activates on switch in we are going to put code here for said ability so uh, and and sometimes uh, you know this is an ability effect switch in weather if we're if the ability effect is specific uh, to this type of thing uh, that's handled separately than a lot of these abilities um, <clears throat> So here's ability drizzle, sand stream, drought. These are all abilities that happen on switch in. Now at the bottom of these on switch in abilities, we're going to add our download code. Now before we are going to do that, I'm going to talk a little bit about the rest of the stuff. So we have here, this case statement is ability effect end turn. So this is instead abilities that affect, uh, that, that run code at the end of the turn. Uh, you know, it's, it's as simple as it gets. Um, and this is ability effect moves block. So this is uh, checked when uh, we're checking to see if an ability is blocking moves, ability effect absorbing, water absorb, flash fire checked here. This is checked to see if we're not being affected by a move, instead we absorb a move. Um, so ability effect on damage, these abilities, this is where we put the code for abilities that trigger when damage is taken. 
on contact abilities. Um, so like rough skin, effect spore, poison point, this is where we put the code for these abilities. Ability effect immunity, this is again uh, just code handling for um, some certain, uh, I don't even know to be honest. We're going to scroll past it. Uh, water bill, insomnia, so yeah it's just stuff that is, is um, immune to certain moves. Um, ability effect forecast, synchronize, attack synchronize, ability effect intimidate one, that's probably related to intimidate codes. Ability effect trace, blah 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 blah. We're going too far. Um, this is a very large function. You are going to find a place to hook in here at some point. Um, you know, in here, you're going to hook into it for your code for your ability, or you know, like I said, it can be in the battle script commands. But we are specifically running our code when we switch in. So we're going back to the case statement for the ability effect switch in. Uh, and we are going to create a case for our ability download using our constant. Now to begin with, uh, this is what I'm about to talk about is specific to this implementation of this uh, ability, but your ability like could very well be or more than likely is nothing to do with this. So at this point, you know like this is what you do to get to this point and this ability that you're creating is going to be entirely different than this. So you don't necessarily need to follow what I'm going to go through, but I'm just going to talk about this just because I implemented it, so I might as well go through explaining some of it. Uh, but this again, this type of thing with adding moves, adding abilities, it's entirely determined on what move or ability you're trying to add and what you're trying to accomplish with it. So there's not really a tutorial that I can do on every ability, any possible thing you could want to change. Um, I could ramble for hours about the different like parts of the battle engine that you can affect, that you can uh, that you can modulate. But I don't understand it even anywhere near as much as I would like to if I were to do uh, such a thing r rambling for that long. Uh, so I'm just going to briefly talk about how this ability works just because it's in front of me. Um, so this ability um, it's checking to see if it's already happened because if it's already happened we don't want to do it again. Um, and then and then uh, we and we're checking the sides because it checks each side uh, so we're going to uh, it checks each battler so we're going to uh, do it make sure that there is no uh, no switch in ability effect active um, so then we are going to uh, basically what this is doing is it's just pulling out the 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 it's just doing the stat calculation uh, for what um, what you're gonna buff so it's buffed depending on what your opponent's like higher stats are or something, what stat you get a buff of. Uh, I don't remember exactly how download works, so sorry if uh, you wanted more illumination on the calculation itself. But basically download checks the stats of the opponent uh, and then buffs your stats dependent on uh, the opponent's stats. So like here, it's opposing defense is less than opposing special defense, then we buff attack instead of special attack. Okay, that's what it is. So it sees whether or not you would be benefit you to have more attack or more special attack and then it gives it to you it's pretty simple um, here we are going to set the switch and ability equal to done now this against G special statuses if you were here for our move videos is just this struct here and uh, I have added an entry to it to hold the data for um, this uh, for these special statuses that uh, are in, affected by certain things. In this case, we can see it's intimidated mon, if the mon has been intimidated, lightning rod, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so we have added a, a value there. That's what we checked here um, to check against to make sure we don't do this twice. Um, then we're going to compare the stats to make sure that you're not at the max stat stages. And then we're going to set the stat changer to give you, uh, to increase your stat change by one, one level. Uh, then we're going to prepare the stat buffer. And then we're going to push the cursor to this battle script attacker ability stat raise M3. Now this is a battle script that we have added. We externed it like we did in the last video. So to add one of these, you have to extern const them. And then you have to go and you have to add the actual battle scripts. Here are the two battle scripts. This is the one, uh, but all this does is call this one. Uh, and this one, set graphical stat change values. So this is uh, changing the, 
the stats it, it's it's setting whether or not you're going uh, up or down i believe is what this one is what this command does you can check it in the battle scripts commands code if you want to to make sure that i'm correct there um you can play the or then you play the animation you wait the animation uh you print string um it probably also sets the animation. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It prints the string that I've added. You can, uh, it's the same way that we added strings before. You go into battle strings ID and you add a string to the end of this count here. And then you go into battle messages. You add uh, on this big array here, you add your entry into this G battle strings table. And then you add a, a string up here. Technically, most of them are up here, but you just copy one of those and add the string. So that is uh, what the script does, and that is the end of what that function was doing. So we have essentially, uh, you know, created our uh, fully functional ability by uh, copying this code in. Uh, now, obviously, for you, it's probably not going to be as easy as copying the code in, depending on what you're doing. Um, I guess I should technically say compare stat and is battle or live were expansion specific functions that I had to copy in. Luckily, they didn't need anything extra, so I just copied them in up here. Um, that's not the best implementation. I mean, I probably should have added them to the .h file for this if I wanted to use this project for if I wanted to make multiple more abilities that might use these functions. But I am. This is just a random repo that I was in uh, that is meaningless to me. So. It doesn't matter. We can check our uh, our ability though by starting a. Uh, well, first we had to put it on mod. I already put it on a mod. I compiled. So here we have mudkip. We're gonna throw out mudkip, and then we should get a stat change. We raise our. Um, we raised special attack because I guess uh, this Zigzagoon has a higher special defense. So yeah, it's that simple. We have our, our ability, um, this specific one implemented how it was implemented in the expansion, but again, you know, your implementation will vary wildly. Um, the main thing to add an ability, you add the ability constant, you add the name, the description uh and everything here and then we have to add our our functional code you know our c code for how the ability is going to interact with the code in ability battle effects uh and like i said this is you know something you're gonna have to read around you're gonna need to understand c a decent bit unless you're just copying stuff and hoping it works um, you're going to need to look at some of these other ability battle effects and see how they work um, for abilities that aren't uh, inside of this ability battle effects function and are instead uh, just checked against in other places. Um, you know, you'll have to find those places, like if you want an ability that affects uh, the PP reduction or the... Uh, um, or, or the accuracy calc. Again, you go inside those script commands, those battle script command functions, and you check against your ability there. Um, just using the normal, like, dot abilities checked, or the G last used ability, or, well, that probably won't be active at the time. Uh, but you can check against the abilities with dot ability on the G Battlemon's uh, HP. Uh, so if we go here, G Battle Pokemon, we can scroll down here, scroll down, ability right here. So you see that? That means that uh, if we're doing this, if we're taking the battler, we can check dot ability, and then we can check against the ability anywhere. Um, it's as simple as that. So I'm going to wrap up the video there. Uh, hopefully that illuminated some things for you. If you have any comments or questions, make sure to leave them in the description, or not in the description, in the, uh, leave them as comments, or uh, join our Discord server, especially if they are complicated or join the expansion discord server or join both of them uh, the expansion server has a lot of people who have worked on many complicated abilities like this one here uh, and they can definitely help you but again you need to know c first it's going to be basically impossible to help you without doing it for you if you don't already know c and a lot of people don't want to do it for you they want to help you um, so anyway i'm gonna leave it there you guys have a good one and i will see you on the next one